On June 5, 1966, equipped with only a helmet and walking stick, James Meredith began a 220-mile march against fear from Memphis, Tennessee to Jackson, Mississippi. Meredith, an activist who had integrated the University of Mississippi four years earlier, organized a one-man march to encourage African Americans in Mississippi to combat the white terrorists in the state by registering to vote. Meredith crossed the Mississippi border on the morning of June 6, 1966, followed by a few supporters. State police and FBI agents monitored the march while reporters and photographers trolled behind. A few miles south of Fernando, Mississippi, Aubrey Norvell, a white salesman, ambushed Meredith from the woods and shot him in the neck, head, and back. Before he started shooting, Norvell warned bystanders to leave and shouted out Meredith's name. The law enforcement did nothing to protect Meredith. He survived his injuries but was unable to finish the march. Enraged by the attack, civil rights leaders organized to continue the march to Jackson and Meredith's place. On June 26, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Stokely Carmichael, and Floyd McKissick were among the thousands of marchers who completed the trip after weathering harassment and physical abuse from both angry mobs and law enforcement. Meredith rejoined the march shortly before it reached Jackson, Mississippi, and led a rally at the state capitol. In November 1966, Aubrey Norvell pleaded guilty to assault and battery and was sentenced to two years in prison for the assassination attempt.